For anyone with a Honda or Nissan, it was recently proven possible hackers could unlock or start their vehicles, locate them, and raid personal data stored inside. Researchers discovered this latest vulnerability due to a now-fixed flaw in the car's shared telematics system, which was created by SiriusXM. All that was needed to start the hack was the car's VIN number. From there, the VIN could be sent to a SiriusXM server to trick it into believing the sender was the real car owner, which then allowed for several functions to be performed, including turning on the ignition. This highlighted a weakness of internet-connected systems in modern vehicles, particularly ones which track vehicle use and location while hooked up to a driver's cell phone and taking in user data. These technologies are also regularly being exploited by federal law enforcement agencies, who are investing more than ever in tools that extract masses of data from as many as 10,000 different car models. Piles of evidence on a potential crime can now be collected from an automobile, sometimes even more than a smartphone, with much less effort. In a recent search of a 2019 Dodge Charger near the Mexican border, a border agent wrote, infotainment systems were especially useful to investigators. They could provide information on a suspect's location, email addresses, IP addresses, passwords, and phone numbers. They could even give insight into things such as the user's state of mind, knowledge, and motive. However, privacy advocates are sounding the alarm, calling modern cars surveillance on wheels. The Surveillance Technology Oversight Project, also known as STOP, warned U.S. Customs and Border Patrol and Immigration and Customs Enforcement are able to perform sweeping searches with very easy access to most visited places, family and social contacts, call logs, and even social media feeds. STOP added, while it does not know how many cars Border Patrol and ICE have hacked, it can say with confidence that nearly every new car is vulnerable.